right, so once it hits our once it hits our deflector, we want it to do more. So I will close this and hide that. So we'll um, add another wind. I'll put it on this side of the wall. Okay, let's drop this down. And this wind will make point 0.1 with the strength, turbulence point 0.3, frequency point 0.05, and scale point 0.1. And we will add a force here. Add by list, we want wind 2 and drag 0.1. Also, we can make these a lot older now. Let's do 100 by 100. We'll do dots again. And we'll make it a slightly uh, lighter blue. Will we? Yeah, we'll do a slightly lighter blue. There we go. Just enough for the effect. Right away, I see that this is blowing still pretty hard. Also, I want to move our, so we have some distance to ride, actually, with our ripples. I'm sorry, I'm going to move this off to the other side of the screen. I'll let you know if I make changes. It's still blowing a bit hard. Point zero five, point zero two five. But now we can turn the strength down a bit, point two. Point zero five. <coughs> That's actually the key to how all this kind of stuff works. You just have to play around with it as you go. And come up with new stuff, too. That's also part of the fun. So anyway, this is what we have so far. And that's basically <laughs> the entire tutorial. Now, we don't have to stop there. We can do other things. Um, I don't know, like, what I would do, and I'm just going to hide our sphere, our emitter sphere, which I'm not labeling anything, and I don't know if you noticed. Usually I'm a big stickler for labeling and whatnot. Not this time, though. I'm just not worried about it this time. Um, what you can do, and when I originally made this, uh, when I originally thought of this, what I wanted to do was take a, an Omnilight. Shadow map is fine. Turn the bias down to zero. Bias is always irritating. Um, I make it, and what I'll do is I'll link it to 
my uh, dummy and also I will align it with my dummy and I will hit 8 on my keyboard or go to render environment and of course it's on the right screen and I will add a volume light and I will select pick light I will pick this see we don't want that that right there we don't like that so we will play with it uh, use and show All right, we can get a little bit of a bluish glow or whatever color you want. And I'll turn it up. That looks kind of good, I guess, for now. All right, we'll leave it like that. Also, with our uh, environments open, we will go to Effects, Add, uh, Lens Effect. Let's go to Streak, Scene, that's fine. Uh, use Source Color 100%. Options, Lights, make sure Lights is checked. And uh, I thought there was a place to select light. Maybe not. Intensity. Let's drag that up. See if we get it here. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, that was at 30. 30 I think all right good so we have that and all of this stuff you can animate through your curve editor um, one of the main reasons for me doing this kind of tutorial is to show to you how awesome the curve editor is like um, well yeah let's go ahead and do it 755 I'm gonna cut the video now so we don't get in the middle of a curve editor and realize that I've gone over the stupid 10 minute point of the video. Alright, so we'll be right back.